Hello Saggies, I'm Luchan Debbie with Power Life Hypnosis and this is your mid-June 2019 Love and Romance reading. As always, thank you to all of those who thumbs up and like my readings. Thank you to all of those who comment and share and thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. And to book a private reading with me, visit my website powerlifehypnosis.com. You can also book a reading with me directly through the description box below. If you would like to know who your future long-term partner is or confirm who your partner is, when, where, how you meet your partner, where your partner will look like how to recognize your partner additional details that I do not share here as well as a full reading as to how to align yourself with your partner and your ideal most optimal relationship book a future partner reading with me today through the description box or again at my website powerlifehypnosis.com if you have an iPhone or an iPad go ahead and take advantage of that June instant go special that I still have going throughout the month of June send me a message I will respond within 24 hours and all questions again throughout the month of June are 11 11 the link to contact me through instingo instingo.com slash power life hypnosis is in the description box below also go ahead and follow me and check me out on Instagram I have a new Instagram in which I am posting weekly weekend messages guidance as well as your love and life fortune so if you're interested in your weekly love and life fortune again go ahead and follow me check me out on instingo that link is also in the description box below you can follow me at power life hypnosis so my love Lovely Saggies, this is a general reading, of course, the messages may may not resonate if they do not check your Moon and Rising Sign videos, those messages may. You can also check your Sun, Moon and Rising Sign videos for a more complete picture of your love life during the ending portion of June. You can also cross watch the reading for your romantic sign as well, your romantic interest rather as well. So we're going to first go ahead and get into the overall energy here we have a um, prediction a five card spread and then we're going to go into our guidance and let me just say this shirt here is so appropriate um, for you all and the ending portion of June because I have a really fantastic uh, reading here and I really like the guidance the messages that came up are very synchronistic let me go ahead and take a sip of water here And by the way, I feel like I have to specify this now. My water does have some water enhancer in it, so it's actually a uh, fruit punch flavored. It's not brown water. Somebody sent me a comment, your water is brown. It's not brown. It has water flavor enhancer in it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here, my saggy friends. So first off, regarding the energy of what is to come, we have here the cards of passion and chemistry. Passion and chemistry. So first off, with this chemistry card, there is a strong magnetic attraction between you and your romantic interests, you and your partner, okay? You and whoever is on your mind as you are coming to this reading. During the ending portion of the month, there will once again be a strong magnetic attraction. There's chemistry here, okay? You feel drawn toward one another, very attracted to one another. And we also have passion. So because of this wonderful chemistry, because of this strong magnetic Magnetic attraction because of this passion because of the chills that I'm getting down my body down my arms in particular I'm hearing embrace this okay and allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy so this is something to celebrate this is something to be happy about okay this is something to really be grateful for and the interesting thing is as human beings we have a tendency to focus more on the negative or focus on what's not going right in our lives as opposed to placing more focus upon what is going right in our lives and we just do that because you know when something's going wrong in our lives it's uncomfortable for us you know we tend to think about it more versus when everything is just going great so my recommendation would be the positive events that occur during the ending portion of June take some time to practice gratitude be grateful for these wonderful events for these wonderful occurrences for these feelings for this passion for this chemistry for this attraction because as you stop and consciously acknowledge and practice gratitude for these wonderful things coming to you you shall receive more okay it's that law of attraction or that universal law so I do recommend practicing gratitude regarding these wonderful things that we are going to speak about in just a moment so for our prediction here I do have this five card spread so I'm going to do one prediction but again it's a little bit more of an extended one because it is a five card so we have here on the bottom we have the lady we also have here the uh, book okay we also have here the ship we have the one ring 
we have the ring and we have here the uh, key card okay so ship ring key okay now the first thing that I can see here okay as I look at the suits of these cards, these tens, these aces, I can see here that some of you may have felt as though you did experience some unfortunate events or some unfortunate luck or some less than positive luck regarding this situation. Maybe there were some challenges that have happened um, within recent weeks or months or however this resonates with you. This can also be speaking of feeling as though you've had some challenges or some unfortunate luck in your love life in general. So I do see that coming up. Okay, but have no fear because we do have here a positive outcome. Some of you may also have experienced some sort of delay, some sort of delay, or maybe experiencing some sort of delay when it comes to this connection. And this may be a delay regarding maybe travel towards one another. This may be um, a delay regarding commitment. Okay, this may be delay regarding um, unveiling how you feel or unveiling something important, but there is some sort of delay going on here. So the next thing that I can see is, and this is something that I was of course picking up um, in the uh, Romance Angels cards as well and just overall from previous readings and if you have not seen the monthly reading the monthly uh, June love and money reading I highly suggest checking out that reading after this one because in that reading we do have two predictions regarding the month and we also have guidance about how to increase your money your finances your prosperity in the month of June also we go into two descriptions so uh, the descriptions can describe your partner what your partner looks like or yourself um, so again if you're interested in who you could be involved with if you're interested in those descriptions as well as how to increase your money or finance your abundance um, all that wonderful information is in the extended June reading so I definitely recommend after this reading go watch the June reading that was posted earlier so back to uh, this information here I do see here likely a soulmate okay this is likely someone who is coming to your life to help you learn grow evolve move forward some way in your soul's journey okay there's karma involved in this situation so what I can see here is okay we have this lady car once again so this lady could be speaking of yourself okay if you are a female um, this could be speaking of your female partner if you're in a same-sex relationship just take this as a resonance this may be speaking of the more feminine partner but again this is speaking of a female here so depending on yourself or your partner we have this person here okay who is founding this spread now it appears as though some of you may be focused on at this time okay you may be focused on something unknown to you or maybe there's something that you don't know something that you want to reveal or maybe somebody's going to reveal something okay but i do see here for some of you some kind of mystery okay a question mark hanging over your head um or something that you have not uh spoken about yet maybe you seek to do so okay some of you may be thinking about um school okay these are different themes under this book card now what i do see once again is something may be uh revealed during the ending portion of june because we do have the book and the book speaks of mysteries things that are unknown and this is going to resonate with you if you know there's something that um you have keeping keeping hidden there has been something that you have been keeping uh hidden okay you may reveal this at the end of the month nevertheless i do have here an absolute positive outcome in this situation so this is a positive spread here now what i can see is okay some of you may be moving forward into a deeper commitment with a partner with a soulmate okay this may be a key relationship in your life somebody who's very meaningful to you their presence in your life holds a lot of meaning to you and vice versa and that's why there is a strong magnetic attraction here so again this is something to be joyful about this is something to be happy about because you know when two people are in love when two people have mutual feelings when two people you know are are really into each other really care for each other 
that that is something to celebrate so I do see here that once again many of you may be going into a deeper commitment moving into a deeper commitment with a soulmate okay and maybe that's something that you have been keeping to yourself maybe you um, weren't sure if you wanted to move into this commitment or not or you haven't spoken or shared with the person how deeply you feel okay these are different things that can resonate for you now another thing that I can see is especially for you uh, couples it may be very useful to take a trip get a change of scenery okay again especially for those of you who have been in long-standing commitments maybe you're married you know um, you've been in a long-term situation what will really benefit you and what will have a positive impact on your love life okay what will be the key to your success what will be the key to rekindling or you know increasing okay this passion and this chemistry and the way to really bring about this passion and chemistry in a beautiful way will be to get a change of scenery so this may involve traveling okay and this could be a short distance away this is speaking of some kind of travel whether it be you know foreign travel whether it be to another uh, area whether it be close you know a short distance away nevertheless a change of scenery so you may go on a weekend trip you may go on a day trip you know you may just take a little vacation with this person and again that's going to be the key to your success the key to bringing about this passion the key to bringing about this chemistry okay that's going to provide you with a positive solution a beneficial outcome here so again ultimately whatever occurs here I do see you know a very very wonderful positive happy good okay outcome all right so this is a very wonderful thing so again travel or moving forward into a deeper commitment okay so that is a wonderful thing so I like it Now, okay, now this is very, very interesting because for the guidance uh, cards, I do use two different decks and I put them together to make one large deck. And first off, we're going to start with the card of let your past go. So Sagis, you are being guided to, you are being advised to let your past go in some way. So for many of you, I'm picking up um, more so fear-based thinking or doubts or worries, okay, due to past relationships and past experiences, okay? Maybe it's that sense of bad luck or something like that that we got before, that perception okay so many of you are being guided to and you are being recommended to let your past go the burden of carting your past around has made you weary dear one it's time to set this burden down keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind because you don't want it or need it and it's now gone Okay, so whatever is not serving you, knowing that we have this opportunity to move forward in a beneficial way, knowing that there's an opportunity to, you know, um, make use of the key to our success here, knowing that we have the key to our success in this situation, now is the time to move forward, okay, move forward with confidence, expect positive outcomes because we do have a positive outcome here, so just expect that to happen regardless of you know, or in spite of whatever past challenges you have experienced, whatever doubts, whatever fears, let your past go and allow yourself to enjoy this passion, enjoy this chemistry, enjoy this magnetic attraction. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And in order to do that, it is essential to let go of and release and leave in the past the feelings, emotions, doubts, worries that are not in alignment with these positive and high vibrations, okay? We don't want situations from the past messing with our happiness now because they don't deserve to be here, you know? It's like when we have past lovers who have um, created doubts or fears in us, and even if that was temporary, do these experiences or does that person who wasn't good for us or who didn't you know give us what we deserve or who wasn't on our level who wasn't up to par does that person deserve to still negatively affect 
our blessings, our wonderful experiences, our opportunities in the future. No, that's why you're in the past. That's why you're an ex. That's why, you know, we're no longer together because I'm moving forward over here to something that is meant for me. So we want to leave behind the things that are no longer meant for us. Okay. We can use them as learning lessons. We can use them, you know, um, as a part of our roadmap. You know, this is when I learned what I wanted, what I didn't want. You know, this is how I learned more about myself, more about relationships, whatever it is, however that resonates with you. Use that, leave that in the past and let's experience the love and the passion and the chemistry and the attraction and the positive energy that we have going on right now. And know that your love life is changing for the better. Okay. It is moving forward in a positive direction. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. So your love life is moving forward in a positive new direction. So you can let go of fears, worries, doubts, you know, any uh, perception of bad luck, anything that does not serve you right now, okay? You can leave that behind. Again, it does not serve you and you do not need it. So know that your love life is moving forward in a beneficial way at this time. That is something to be very happy about. That is something to celebrate. And the wonderful thing is know that now is the right time, okay? Perfect timing twice we have this message come out twice from two totally different decks okay so we have here two cards of perfect timing so this is the right time for you to go ahead and move forward move forward to committing yourself to your success and positive outcomes okay if you can have anything that you want when it comes to love and romance what would that be now move toward this knowing that the key to your success is already in your hands okay so this is the right time Sagis, for you to move forward excellent now we also have here the card of perfect timing once again so once again now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations the doors are open while you walk through them with us spirit guide universe the angels your higher power okay your spiritual support team while you walk through those doors with your support team by your side don't delay all right, Sagis, don't delay. Don't procrastinate. Now is the time. Don't delay. Don't procrastinate. Okay? As all of the ingredients are ripe for your success, everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. So positive outcomes all around. Now is the right time to move forward and enjoy. Move forward towards your happiness. If you feel like you've had, you know, less than the best of luck or challenges in the past, that's in the past. This is the present. Now let's embrace the present. The only moment that matters is now. Okay. The past is the past. The future we have not yet reached. And also what we do in this very moment, in this present moment is what shapes our future. So now's the right time to move forward, to go after the direction of your dreams or the woman of your dreams, or be this woman, go after the man of your dreams. Or if you're in a same sex relationship, whatever gender, you know, now is the time. This is the perfect time. The time is now. All right. So go after the blessings that are in store for you. Okay. Dearest, dearest Sagittarius, isn't it amazing how things, how things seem to come around again, full circle in ways you could not have possibly planned. You wonder how a dream could die only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. You thought it was time back then. You thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self whose desires are unmet. Now, here you are with a new opportunity to do things from a different and more mature perspective. We want you to trust that this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called in two directions. And the one that is unfamiliar, the direction that is unfamiliar will be the right one, okay? In the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle. And now you can see that everything changes. Everything is made new and given new hope loving you always i have chills all on my arms so embrace this beautiful moment embrace these new opportunities embrace these blessings and this joy this attraction all these things that are showing themselves now or in the very near future during this 
time, the ending portion of June. So my lovely, lovely uh, Sagittarius friends, these are the messages that I have for you for your mid-monthly June reading. Thumbs up, like this reading. If the messages resonate, comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And again, to book a private reading with me, visit my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. You can book a reading with me today through the description box below. And again, if you would like to know or confirm, if you believe that you know who your partner is, you would like to confirm or you would like to know, you know, fresh, who your partner is, go ahead and book that future partner reading with me through the description box or at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. Again, thumbs up, like, share, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And I will see you all here again very, very soon. Love you, Saggies. Have a wonderful, wonderful time.